finishes Bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, just have an extra. And then we are back on Morning Scramble right here in Northern Arizona. With us, we have a, a bat lady, Samantha Vaughn. Nice to have you on. Thank you for having me. Bat lady. I know people know <laughs> what. Is, is she with the Adams family or what? You know, <laughs> I think quite. bats get a bad rap. We'll talk about that. Thank but you. you're having a bat symposium. I am. Saturday. Tell us yep. about that. It's, um, it's my senior project, graduating from Prescott College. So it will be at Embry Riddle from 9 to four and then um, if you register online you can join in for lunch it's pad thai can't wait um, so, yes. <laughs> did you get to choose <laughs> I did <laughs> um, and then that evening we're gonna have a mist netting from seven to nine at Watson Preserve and a mist netting is what uh, we're going to catch bats hopefully if they're out and about and what will you do with them? You find them? Catch them? Um, it's just a demonstration workshop. So we have somebody from Arizona Game and Fish coming out, and they're just going to kind of describe what they're doing, the bat, let people see them up close so they're not as scary. Yeah, because why do bats get a bad rap? Um, I think a lot of it has to do with folklore and myths and the fact that they come out at night. Um, and that there yeah. are vampire bats in South America. There are. Yes. Bother the cattle. I don't know yeah. if they bother people. They but don't. You know. Yeah, so that's kind of funny. But none around here. We don't have no. vampire bats. No, we sure don't. Mostly little brown bats. Little browns. We have some larger ones, like on the poster there, hoary bats, um, Townsends, and well, there's 24 species, so it's a long list. <laughs> you get interested in bats, Samantha? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I spent the summers. Um, romping around West Virginia, caving and climbing, and one of my fondest memories is seeing a little bat outside of a cave in West, uh, at when we were going into when I was little, and just from then on, fascination. <laughs> you know, they are very cute. They're they are. I mean, I know some people would think that <laughs> we're a little bit crazy, but <laughs> yeah. Years ago, uh, we had our, our uh, upstairs window open, a couple bats got in with mm -hmm. them, were flying around my parents' <laughs> bedroom, so my father was able to get one out, and he captured the other one and taught me the scientific name for it and sent me to school with it. <laughs> so I went to my science teacher and said, is this the Vespertilionidae Kornheimus Rapiniski? And he went, yeah, it looks like a little brown bat to me. <laughs> but I never yeah. forgot that. But And mm -hmm. then another one got in the my house one time, too, and I had to save it from my cat with a towel putting oh, that yeah. out. And he was fine. He mm -hmm. took off. But uh, they're, they're really, what? why are bats good? Tell me that. Bats are amazing for insect population control, um, especially here in the U.S. Uh, I believe it's between 3 and $30 billion that they save um, the agriculture industry every year um, just in pest control. Now, can you so they eat bugs, mosquitoes? Mm -hmm. I know, mosquitoes, I'm always yeah. excited when I see them flying around. I know mm -hmm. there'll be less mosquitoes around my patio. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> kind of a thing. So that mm -hmm. they are just insect eaters. That's it. They are, yes. Um, there's also a few species down in southern Arizona along the border that are um, nectivorous. They feed on nectar. They are amazing pollinators. Um, one reason uh, we have tequila is because they pollinate the agave. So. <laughs> Okay, some people are going to really love bats mm -hmm. already, yes. just because of that. <laughs> yep. So are they dangerous in any way to people? A lot of people fear the rabies um, virus that they may carry, but a new study that just came out, I believe it was late last year, um, shows that it's only about 1% of uh, bats carry rabies, so it's very, very, yeah, very small. Slight. Yeah. Probably your chances of encountering that would be mm, like uh, a little. fox in the wild. Yeah, anything foxes like um, more likely to get bit by a rabid raccoon, sure. uh, especially in the uh, urban area. So the bats are um, actually a boon to a neighborhood, to a, a home, to have them around then in yes. terms of insect control. Yes, and yes. They Can are you amazing. buy? You have a little bat house. I do. Um, this is a common style. Um, many times, there's so many different ones. You can have gigantic ones that hold millions, um, or one like this that can hold a slightly smaller, but still probably hundreds, if not thousands. Because you hang it up, and then what? They they right. slide in the bottom of this. So thing you hang it up, you know, on a pill, and then they come up and they hang upside down. You want to make sure that they're inside 
Um, so here is rock so they can attach, um, so they you can hold hang on. Little claws. Yeah. <laughs> you have some skeletons here. They do. Again, they're so delicate. They, it's, um, yeah, they are. <laughs> it's uh, really hard to get a bat skeleton like this, so I've been warned not to you mess didn't them get up. them yourself. Okay. <laughs> no, you didn't no. Okay, okay. Borrowed these from Arizona Game and Fish. <laughs> well, again, they're amazing little creatures. They yeah. look like any other little mammal mm -hmm. that is around. Um, mm -hmm. Are all the types of bats that are in the area good then? They're all beneficial they are, around yes. here. Yes, yes, very okay. much so. Good, so there's nothing we need to be afraid of, but no. there's obviously, but why a bat symposium? Um, <laughs> because I was walking downtown one evening watching the bats around the lights and um, I had a gentleman walk up and ask me what I was watching. I was like, well, bats. He was like, we have bats in Arizona? I was like, well, yes, we do. Um, so education is a very important part um, for just bats and um, the whole letting week. people know that, you know, they are here, they're good, they're wonderful. The, most of the myths that are out there are just not true. Right, yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunately, you know, <laughs> you yeah. do see them in you know, the horror movies and stuff, yeah. but they, they're nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> so location and time, wings in the night for the Arizona Bat Symposium? Yes, we will be at Embry-Riddle, um, AC1, room 107, um, from 9 to 4.30, and people are welcome to come and go as they please. Um, there's We're that much to talk about. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and you're going to have uh, some speakers. Yes, we have um, a few speakers from Embry River, um, sorry, Arizona Game and Fish. We have a speaker from NAU, um, and we have a few uh, student or two that will be speaking about okay. um, their work. Um, so. And so are there studies going on with them, or again, that's a long symposium, so yes. there's, there's plenty to tell yes. about that. Um, Carol Chambers of NAU, she's a professor there and very widely known for her bat work, is, has um, quite a few grad students all over the state doing work. Um, she's doing stuff with uh, bats in burn areas. I know she's working with um, out in Alpine this summer, um, talking about how bats uh, use burned and non-burned areas. So that's okay. really are, are they're not endangered by any means. We have plenty of bats, do we? Or um, it depends on the species. Uh, there's quite a few species that are um, endangered, especially on the East Coast now with white nose syndrome, um, which is a fungus that is killing off millions of bats a year. Um, but so far here in Arizona, we don't have it. So that's one thing. Um, we don't have to worry about right now. Well, what's lovely is they're a natural insecticide, so you don't yeah. have poison being sprayed right. and yeah. causing problems and allergies and exactly. whatever mm -hmm. kind of a thing, so uh, that's good. And you can get these, I know, at garden centers and around yes. there if you want to encourage yep. the little furry creatures. Uh, yeah. They can be your friends. They can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Bat Symposium again coming up this Saturday, 9 to 4.30, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Is that free of charge? It is free, free and open to the public. All right, Samantha Vaughn, uh, senior at Prescott College. Thanks so much for joining Thank us you. today. Yeah. Don't go away. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll find about, out about a hot read. So stay with us. Whether we're